What's up guys? So for today's video, let me show you something real quick. Now, what was the mistake here? Three, two, one, double jumping, right? Pretty obvious. Only thing I did here was, you know, double jump as Mario. And if you are a player who finds yourself doing this double jump at all, I need you to stop right now because this is one of the most common and worst mistakes I see by far. I give a lot of lessons, you know, through Metify. I think I talked about that quite enough. But anyway, and I swear every like one out of two people make this mistake where they get hit, they double jump. And there are two reasons this is bad. First is just position you put yourself in, right? Like if you're in disadvantage and you jump over your opponent, you're putting yourself closer to a blast zone. And for the most part, there's gonna be exceptions of course, but for the most part, most characters have better up airs than down airs, right? Most up airs, up tilts, up smashes are intended to beat most down airs, maybe nairs with like low hitboxes, whatever. That's why being in the air gang jungle is such a bad thing in the first place in Ultimate, right? So, when you do this double jump, you're making it really easy to chase you and potentially kill you. And if you look at your options available, by burning your double jump, and this is the second thing, you have wasted a resource that is vital. Because now if you're Mario, you may have double jumped, may have got away from my immediate pressure, but now what are your mix-ups for landing? You can fall, you can fast fall, you can drift in a direction, you can like air dodge, directional air dodge, and maybe do like some sort of special to like stall, like Kate, be a reverse fire, but whatever. So you have options, but the problem is, your fall speed is pretty consistent. You're either falling or you're fast falling, meaning it's really easy to frame trap with pretty much most characters, honestly. If I'm just Palutena, I like full up up air, right? Full up up air, for example, right? And he were to like air dodge. So he air dodges, guess what? Free punish, right? And he has to air dodge that. Or he has to swing and my up air is gonna beat him. Maybe he does like a B reverse fireball and then I can kind of do the same thing, chase him. You know, maybe like, like Matt, what he does, it's really easy to frame trap this, assuming I don't get outplayed hard and mess up. So, that is why burning double jumps is bad. It's just legit a mistake I see it loses you games. If you do this and you lose that stock for the game, you deserved it. It's that bad. And this doesn't just mean like, oh, you can't double jump above someone out of disadvantage. This means if you're generally in a spot where your opponent can't really chase you, since it's such a good resource, but also potentially like such a, um, you can put yourself in such a bad spot for using it. Even if you like do like this, where you kind of like the other move properly, let's say and you double jump, let's say like you do like this, you get hit, you double jump away. Even though you're not double jumping above me, it's kind of the same thing where suddenly you lost a vital resource for mixing up landings. You place up in the air for longer, giving me more of a time to hit you. And if I do hit you off stage, right? Like I hit you to south of forward air, say you're Mario versus Palu. Even if you don't die without your double trip, you can't recover, probably. Or like all your recovery options afterwards are so linear that it's up to me to execute my edge guard and you don't have any mix-ups left except praying I mess up. So, with that in mind, stop doing this. If your opponent can't chase you immediately and you don't have a reason to burn double jump, don't do it. Don't burn your double jump until you have a reason to use it. Because if you're put in the same exact spot, just show another comparison, right? And like, I were to dash attack. And this Mario player, and let's pretend he's a character without like a good, um, without a good way to escape tumble, right? Because one thing that's nice with a character like Mario, who has like a fast option to escape tumble with his up air, he just does it, and he can suddenly mix up like fast balls or whatever, with a low command move. Let's say he doesn't have them, he has to just do this. This is still a spot where he has a lot of mix-ups, right? Between his drift, like B versus air dodges, attacking, whatever. And then you use double jump to add an extra layer to that, right? Double jump air dodges, um, B versus aerials, um, just, you know, reacting to me, approaching him in a certain place and jumping around me. Going really low to a point that I don't want to edge guard him because I might mess up and die or just not get him, be in a worse spot. And then like double jumping from super low and recovering after going around wide. Like, the amount of mix-ups he has is actually insane. I could just spend an entire video talking entirely about that. So you have the option to outplay your opponent even in bad spots, as long as you have that 
one vital resource. Now, I know someone's gonna ask me, well, the buzz, what about situations like this, right? Where someone hits me. Oh, just a better example. I think Palutena is a good example. Eh, it's probably 40%. Because this is what I get a lot as well during my lessons is. Alright, I do this. Hey, the buzz! My opponent is gonna like, hit me with an aerial. I want a double jump to skip the combo. You can? And sometimes it might be what if you think you can land. But sometimes? You're actually best off taking like the hit. Like here, as Mario, you might be best off trying to like drift and like swing with something. Me mix like do some mix ups, but don't bring your double jump, right? Because at least if like the Palutena up airs you, and this happens, you DI like away, right? And now suddenly, I'm in a spot where I have to chase you, right? Like here, I could chase you, but you could always choose to like jump up or extend. You can always choose to jump off stage and go cover low and make Harpoon Edge guard you. You can always choose to take another one of these even. And like go for another like mix up without a double jump and then go to the ledge and recover. Like, you have a lot of room to outplay me. And the double jump also is a way to get into position easily. Like you can put yourself in a spot you want to be. So I wouldn't want to burn it mid stage, for example, but I might burn it if I can like get to a platform quickly afterwards and make it safe. Or if I can use it to get off stage and then like get to a ledge relatively uncontested. Because like if Mario double jumped here and like drifted to the ledge, Palo can edge guard this. But it's not easy to do that if he plays it right. So yeah, that's just it. This is my video on double jumping, y'all. Hope you guys liked it. And if you guys do like this video, I'm just throwing this out there, you know. You can like this video. You can subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to post this kind of stuff quite a bit. Um, you know, let people know this content exists. You know, it definitely motivates me when I see people, you know, seeing the content, enjoying it, to make more stuff like this that you guys really like. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas or things you want to see me uh, talk about. I'm definitely just gonna try to think of things that I see and talk about when I'm giving lessons and post in video form. And with that said, y'all, you have a good one. Peace out.